Hey, um, for cup. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, it's your boy, I come back over today. I'm reacting to a drama alert video because... I mean, I watched some of it. But I decided, skirt, you know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go on ahead and, like, show my opinion of this type of shit. Because... Like, some of this kind of does piss me off. Yeah, I'm gonna get my own opinion on it because... I'm also going to show a clip from iDubs, one of iDubs' videos on this when it gets to that point. But warning, there's going to be the N-word in this video, probably. Um, anyway, that's only going to be from iDubs, probably. Here we go. Because you already know I don't say racist words, but I don't support it either, but... I'll say my opinion once in a while. Fuck it. I didn't realize it was so damn loud. What is up, Drama Alert Nation? I'm your dude, Nude, with the news. And today's first story, oh, gamers. Oh, wait, first off, Drama Alert, please don't, uh, please don't copyright this video. Because I actually like your content a lot. This one's for you. With FaZe Dubs, a professional Fortnite player for FaZe Clan, being caught saying the N-word live on someone else's stream. Oh yeah, we're jumping right into it. Roll it. Alright, who's like that, bro? Nigger. Yo, I'm streaming! I'm streaming! I'm streaming! I'm, sh I'm streaming, Dubs. I'm being dead ass. On God, I'm streaming. Uh, okay, give me a minute. Okay, guys, um, this isn't the original video, but I believe this is gonna happen. ...point quite well that we are very fucking stupid to hold the word nigger at this colossally high standard, whereas every other slur, that, that can be used in a comedic sense or an editorial sense, but not this one, because that one has history. Well, guess what, fucking retards? All the other ones have history, too. Zipperhead? Yeah, yeah. Asian people didn't get their fucking heads run ran over in World War II. They weren't thrown into internment camps. But yeah, but... Uh, you, but you can't say that one because it's got sort of a... It's guttural. Either all of them are okay, or none of them are okay. Is it's either all okay, or none of it's okay. And that's what I mean, guys. We do hold it a bit too high, to be honest. I'll admit that much. We hold it too fucking high. There's no reason that that one word's more offensive than the word faggot or cunt or bitch or any of that. There's no way that that's worse. They're all just a fucking word. You mean Enough of me being in... Being my version of me. Um, let's get back to the video. Wow! A professional gamer using such colorful language to go through sensitivity training. Yup. Fuck that. A statement that a day's claim regarding dubs. Face will not tolerate any form of hate speech. Who fucking cares? It's just a fucking word. People say it all the time. It doesn't really fucking matter in my opinion. Hell, I hear it on a daily fucking basis. All that, you guys can read that. Immediately. Which I'm sure all of the other FaZe Clan members who weren't involved are elated about. And finally, Dubs made a response himself, tweeting out this. I can't even describe how sorry I am. I did not intend to be hurtful in any way, but what I said was still hurtful, insensitive, and wrong. The word shouldn't have been in my vocabulary, and I apologize from the bottom of my heart to everyone I offended by using it. You deserve better. And from here, we have vastly different takes on the situation. One coming from, and I swear to God, I actually had to look into this, the guy who voices Ghost on Call of Duty. This guy, Jeff Leach, tweeting out this. You fucking idiot! That word only slips up if it's a go-to in your normal vocab anyway. I've never slipped that word out, and most other folks haven't either. Go donate some money to an African-American charity if you're truly sorry. Well, um... 
Okay. <laughs> I can't say that about some of my friends or my family. Um. Oh, God. I just realized the view count. 9-11. Fucking 9-11 views. 9-11 million views. No, 9-11. Hashtag Black History Month 2020. Which, yes, hot take, he's probably right, but- Because I can't say my opinion on that because it's controversial, so I'm just gonna shut my fucking mouth and let's start it up again. Here's where the opinion shifts. We then have a tweet from The Condom Fish that got a lot of support reading, You're 15 and grew up in the gaming community. You could have said a lot worse. I'm glad FaZe understands. Now- They don't. Whatever the fuck they did, he doesn't deserve. He doesn't deserve anything. Mostly, hell. He don't even deserve to be told, like, he deserves to be told, look, you can't say this word, you should know that. But anything else is too fucking far. People having to go through normal vocab training. That's some bullshit. Who the hell wants to go through normal vocab training? Because somebody fucked up the whole goddamn clan has to do it. That's fucking retarded. Those are two opposite sides of the fence. But the tweet that had the most traction was this one. That reads, MF joint face clan. How are gamers- Oh yeah, the KKK. Simultaneously the best and worst people at the same time. But it begs the question, up pass or are we angry? Please let me know down in the comments below. Also- Okay, give me a minute. Hey guys, sorry, I had to do that for a part. So in the news and gaming related, dude, gamers, we're in it today. One of the largest streamers in the world, just about, but the NPC Okay, that um, apparently, apparently, for information, if you guys haven't watched this, apparently a streamer on Twitch showed some people some- really tells him what she's about to do, and then he proceeds after that and acts shocked when something different didn't happen. But- and who fucking cares? He didn't realize for fucks for fuck's sake, they're nine year olds. For fuck's sake, nine year olds shouldn't be watching no goddamn streams. Parents need to fucking watch what their children are watching for fuck's sake. God, fix your goddamn shit, parents. You fucking retards. Hey, you be the judge of this clip, boys. Here it is. Roll. It. I know that was just so offensive. I don't even care. This feels pissing me off. The people have to get. In trouble for showing nine-year-olds tits that they didn't even know they were all nine-year-olds. He was streaming. You're not... Hell, aren't you supposed to be, like, fucking 13 and up to watch Twitch, for fuck's sake? Titties! Luckily, it's already censored. Oh, we're probably seeing some mature shit. See, the reason he got shocked is because he realized that there were fucking children on his stream. Who the fuck cares that there's some stupid nine-year-olds? Hell, when I was nine, I had already seen a fucking pussy. Who the hell cares? I've seen a vagina at age fucking eight even. Found out about porn when I was six. Who the fuck cares? Now, personally, as soon as I saw this clip, I downloaded this game immediately. I am so alone. I am miserable, and my life is in shambles. But other streamers had mixed reactions about the band. With James okay. Charles and Mr. Beast playing rock, paper, scissors, and I swear to God, I'm not kidding, for a million. And what do you do as a YouTuber who gets 
10 million plus views a video when another YouTuber who gets 10 million plus views a video tweets at you. Buddy. You say, hey, hell yeah, let's get some freaking content going. Hell yeah, let's get some views, some money, all that shit. You make that collab happen. So James responds with. He's correct. Wow, that's crazy. I had the same dream. I think this is a sign. And I think that this is a giant promotion. Let's make it happen then. And hey, listen guys, if you need anybody to take up space in the back while you're recording, I'm right here. And I accept free flights. Also in the news and one of the most tragic- You say, I accept flights! Now this is the part that I haven't watched yet. Tragic ...things that I've ever reported about here on Drama Alert. With Power Couple, Azzyland and Quibble Cop, after three and a half years, calling it Quibble Quits. With the... Oh, hold up. I gotta actually give a story about a Quibble Cop person. I was playing Xbox one day, and I received a message. I'm not showing it because my account has been hacked since. But on that account, this Quibble Cop 69 freaking text me... Not 69, it's 59, and he texted me saying... Shut the fuck up, cunt. And I never say anything bad to him. They say, they call me a cunt. And I don't know why. Hell, at that point, I didn't know who the fuck Quibble Cop was. So I looked the fucker up, and he was on Meagle YouTuber. Quibble officer tweeting out this. Before things go any further, I want to address the rumors. After three and a half years of being together, Azzy and I recently broke up. I have nothing but love and respect for this beautiful, smart, and caring woman. Please, respect our privacy. And I'm gonna be honest, that was quite Quebel classy video, The Man. With Lauren tweeting out this. Taylor has been my role model! You hey guys, you can read this. I'm not able to show the clip, so I'm just gonna let you guys read it for a few seconds. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Faze Rain being a notorious liar in his tweets. I don't know if I have high faith for this happening, but Norton, please don't let us down. And hey, if you enjoyed Drama Alert, drop a like, drop a sub, and turn on those post notifications. If you enjoyed me, my name is Nuda, and I'm a great big gamer man. My links are in the description below. Drama Alert Nation, now over 5 million. Okay, uh, I can't show anymore, so. Uh, well. Link is in the in description. Um, yeah, link's in the description. See you guys later. Please like, subscribe, and post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next one.